Well, hey everyone, this is Andrew Bro, and in today's video, I'm gonna be answering a question about how to create an A5 size page, uh, but print it on a letter size piece of paper. Of course, then it has to be trimmed down to size so that you can insert that uh, either into your Happy Planner or uh, whatever other type of planner you are planning on putting it in. Um, so what we've done here is we've opened up a new publisher document and I went ahead and just made it a letter size page. So there's two different ways that we can do this and I think I'm going to go with the easiest way first. So all we need to do is jump over here to the page design tab and we're going to go to page size, page setup, and we're going to go ahead and punch in the dimensions for A5 um, size and let me just check here to see um, so I can see that there's a four and then custom and we're going to end up going with a custom size so we don't need to do anything there uh, we'll just say that the target um, target paper is a letter and we'll go ahead and punch in the dimensions so the width is going to be 5.83 do 5.83 and the height is going to be 8.27. All right, so that is uh, an A5 um, size piece of paper. Now, I could go ahead and leave this bumped into the corner just the way that it is, um, but it's better if we get our page to be, for the most part, centered up um, on this piece of paper. So how we would do that is, is we'll go ahead and calculate um, how much space is left um, over here in the margin and how much space is left down below in the margin. We'll split that in half and then we're going to make that where it says here the side margin and top margin, we're gonna put those in place. I'm gonna take a second and calculate those and then we'll punch those in. All right, so I did the calculations and came up with a side margin of 1.335 and a top margin of uh, 1.365. And so now we have our A letter uh, or our, our uh, A5 size page sitting right in the center of a letter size page. So now when I go ahead and say okay, um, and actually I could change the um, width of the margin guides if I wanted to for this page. So that's the blue line there. So if um, if one side of the page is going to be uh, punched, like hole punched and put into a planner, then I'd want to leave about a half inch margin. But the top margins could be a quarter inch if you wanted them to be. For now, we'll just leave all sides of it um, at 0.5 and we'll go ahead and say OK. And now we are designing on an A5 size piece of paper, but when we go to print it, it's going to print out in the center of uh, an eight and a half by 11. So if your printer has paper in it that's eight and a half by 11, but you're wanting to design for A5, this is what you would wanna do. So now we can go ahead and place our design on here. And then when we go to print it, everything's gonna fall right in the center. So that way, if we do have pages that are printed front to back, um, they will line up. For the most part, they're gonna line up. Now, most printers, when you're printing front to back, will have anywhere from a one to three millimeter shift from front to back. So you can correct this just by going into your design, when you're printing out a test page and then going into your design and moving things from one side to the other or up or down if you need to. But um, for now, this is gonna work just fine. So let me kind of show you what would happen here. We'll go ahead and insert um, another page. And on page one, we'll go ahead and um, actually, let's just drop in a shape. Let's just do this here real quick. Uh, we'll make that one blue and then let's try this. And we'll paste that and then we'll just change the color um, of side two. We'll go ahead and go into format and let's do a shape fill. We'll just make that orange for, for kicks. There we go. And now if we go to print this, 
So we'll go over to, whoops, we'll go over here to file, say print. Let's make sure that this is in color so we can see the two different sides. And we'll tell it that we're printing front to back. And so here we go. Now we're showing that that is the front side. There is the back side of that page. And we can see that it's hitting basically right in the center of the page. So now we print this and then we trim it down. So you can use a, a rotary cutter or uh, if you have something larger, you can do that. Um, if you don't have anything at all, you can always use scissors, not recommended. Um, but a rotary cutter is, is gonna work just fine if you're doing single pages. If you were doing hundreds of pages, you'd wanna take it somewhere that has a hydraulic cutter that can cut through hundreds of pages at a time. Um, but if you're just doing a one-off or just doing a handful of them and you're gonna cut them at home, um, a rotary cutter will work just fine. So that is the uh, pretty much recommended way um, to do this. And then let's take a look at one other way that you could do it. Um, and to do this, we're just gonna go ahead and open a new document. We'll go ahead and call it a letter size page. And then what you could do is, is we could just change where these margin guides are so that they're the correct amount of space in. Um, so what we would do there is we would go to page design, margins, say custom, and there is a plus to doing it this way, and I'll show you here real quick. Um, so we would say that the left is going to be a 1.33, was it six? Let's take a look at this other document here real quick. Uh, page design, size, page setup, uh, 1.335 and then 1.365. Now the plus to doing it this way is we can actually go ahead and drop in um, some guides. So that way we know where, and I'm not guides, but some cut lines so that we can see exactly where to trim out this piece of paper. So now we're designing one on eight and a half by 11. So we would need to create some, some uh, guides in here. Um, and I'm just like guessing on where I'm putting these um, just to leave enough space so that we know where the, the print area is. And the nice thing about this as well is you could go all the way outside of your design so that you could do full bleed. So now what we can do is, is we can go over to our home tab. We can go into shapes and we can shift, click and drag. And now this should line right up. There we go and I'm just gonna use my arrow key now to move it out a little ways. All right, now that we have all of our cut lines in, in place, we can go ahead and come over here to the page and we can say, insert a duplicate page and now page two will have the exact same cut marks and all the same setup is what page one does. Now, what I wanted to show you is the nice thing about creating your page this way is if you did have an element that you want to completely run off the page, like let's say you had a header that was completely in color and you want it to look like it was printed full bleed so it runs right off the page, you can do that when you do this type of a setup. Um, so let's go over here to the insert tab and we'll grab our shape tool and we'll just create a square uh, or a rectangle and notice that I'm gonna just go ahead and pull it off the page. Now, right now it's uh, in front of those cut lines. So just by uh, right clicking on, the, uh, on that element, we can now go ahead and send it backwards, keep sending it backwards until the cut lines show back up. Uh, now we are missing our guide for the very top of the page, but we can see that it's, it's pretty, you know, we can at least determine where to place it. So if we wanted to, we could go in here. Oh, I guess we'll be under the format tab. We'll say shape outline none. And we end up with this patch of blue that we could now potentially 
um, go over here and draw in our text box and then uh, we could do something like this and uh, whoops let's see here text box is still there let's go back home and let's center this up and then we can go back to the home pay or back to the home tab and choose something nice and bold like um, Arial black and we can jump this up a few font points and then change the color of that to white and then notice what we have we have this colored title with reverse text inside of there now when we go in and trim from this line down and from this line over and trim that page out we now have color that runs all the way off of the edge of our a5 size piece of paper and the title and stuff in reverse inside of there so there's one advantage to setting up the page so that it's already an eight and a half by 11 and you're and you're just putting in your cut lines for your a5 so um for those of you who had questions about this i hope that was helpful understand that you can do this with any custom size piece of paper if you wanted if you wanted to do an 11 or uh, eight and a half by 11 letter size and you want to print it in full bleed you would do this exact same thing only you would design it on an 11 by 17. so you got to kind of think outside the box just a little bit um, i hope that was helpful to you if it was and you love this quick tutorial, uh, please drop down below and leave me a comment. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more awesome videos. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.